Hey guys, welcome to The Market is Open. Check out our website, themarketisopen.com. In this video, I wanted to talk about Giga Berlin and some of the work and innovations that Tesla will be putting together for that factory. I think that Berlin Giga Factory is being overlooked by analysts on Wall Street, which I think is a good thing because it offers potential upside to Tesla stock, which has run up dramatically as it was completely mispriced by the street and underestimated due to all of the past negativity and skepticism, a lot of which I'm still seeing actually, but I think Tesla is due for a healthy pullback. So let's look at what Elon Musk has been hinting that he has in store for Giga Berlin, which will be a massive surprise for the German automakers. But before we begin, please hit the bell button to subscribe and be notified of upcoming Tesla videos and smash the like button to help support this video. You can also support us further on Patreon at patreon.com slash the market is open where we give a shout out to our patrons at the end of each video. Okay, so let's begin by setting the scene a little bit and looking at an analyst who covers Tesla, who we talked about a little bit a couple videos ago, and that's Dan Ives. And he's had a $1,200 price target on Tesla with a $2,000 bull case on the stock. Now, I criticized his call a few videos ago, but one thing he mentions multiple times was the heavy reliance on China for his price target. For him, Tesla is all about China. Of course, the Chinese auto market is the largest in the world, and that's why he's giving a heavy weighting to Tesla's Giga Shanghai factory, which has actually begun contributing to Tesla's vehicle delivery numbers and their revenue. And so that's really great considering that the factory was built in under a year, which was last year, and this year it's expected to do potentially over 100,000 vehicles in its first year of operations, which is really big considering Tesla did 367,000 vehicles in total last year without China helping them. However, although the Shanghai factory is still ramping up and it'll be ongoing as they continue to increase production, but Tesla has already started to work on their next factory in Berlin. And I think this might be one of the most exciting things about Tesla that nobody really seems to care about. The analysts are excited about the China factory because it's in China, they see a huge market, and they're focused mainly on the numbers in my opinion. But what I think they're missing is the rate at which Tesla is advancing their technology and the speed at which they can scale it throughout their operations. If you look at this picture of the Fremont factory layout, and you know they use what they had available at the time, but it's really not the most efficient factory, but it does get the job done in terms of producing uh, currently Tesla's entire product line of cars, models S3, X, and Y. Then they got a brand new fresh slate in China and were able to design the factory from scratch. And of course it's way more streamlined and efficient and so now you would think that well that's great tesla has finally done it they've mastered the factory and all the inefficiencies are gone and they can finally produce cars properly and efficiently but what i think is most interesting and exciting is that tesla didn't actually stop there they want to continue pushing their manufacturing to the limits we thought that Giga Shanghai was as close that tesla could get to the alien dreadnought that elon musk has been talking about but it seems like they can take it a step further. We got word that Volvo purchased a Model Y and was trying to reverse engineer the vehicle. And then Elon Musk says that actually the Model Y coming out in Berlin is gonna be the one to watch. He says that this is a revolution in automotive body manufacturing, finally. So first of all, Volvo is taking apart old technology. I mean, we watched Sandy Monroe take apart the Model Y already, but I think that Tesla will continue to improve it over time. The US made one, that is. But then he's saying that the Berlin Model Y will be revolutionary. So competitors will have to wait until Tesla is done building their factory because, because then they can start trying to copy the newest Model Y. So if that's the strategy that competitors are using, then I think they've already lost. The other thing is that a lot of innovation occurs at the factory itself. So seeing the final results, like the vehicle itself, is not exactly an open book to tell you how the vehicle was produced. And so copying Tesla is a little bit more difficult than it seems. So I think that Giga Shanghai, Tesla's China operations, have taken advantage of producing things at low cost and bringing those learnings to the rest of Tesla's factories. Now Giga Berlin will bring new innovations. You know you hear the term German engineering a lot. I think it's partially a marketing term, but there's also a lot of talent in Germany. If you think about how many car makers are headquartered there, Volkswagen, which owns a whole bunch of brands, BMW, Daimler, this is really their playing field that Tesla has entered. But in order to compete with them, opening a plant on their home turf is probably a wise decision. First of all, Tesla has already had German engineering inside the Model 3 and their other vehicles this entire time. Tesla owns a subsidiary called Grohman Engineering, 
And actually, when the Model 3 factory was having huge problems ramping up during production hell, they had to import part of the production line from Germany to the US to help them out. But really, Giga Berlin will be about taking the talent away from these dinosaur automakers and bringing them into Tesla. So I think that's very scary for other European automakers who are the largest and some of the largest in the world. So China, for example, has a big market, but they don't really have giant automakers. And that's not to say that they won't in the future, but Germany is where a huge chunk of the global auto market is headquartered. So what are some of these things that Tesla will be bringing to Giga Berlin? Well, we've made a video discussing Tesla's state-of-the-art paint shop that will debut at Giga Berlin. And paint is something that Sandy Monroe said Tesla could improve on, and so that should make for a very high-quality vehicle coming out of this factory. But now Elon Musk is hinting that the vehicle casting for the Model Y will be gigantic. Tesla started off by casting these huge parts of the rear underbody and taking 70 original parts and making them into four parts. The green, blue, and orange parts is what I'm talking about in this picture. Elon said that once Tesla gets the big casting machine, this will all be one piece, and that will also include the aluminum rails shown in yellow. So even the first step was fairly unheard of, according to Sandy Monroe, for an automaker to do. And then Tesla is saying that the big casting machine will be able to do even more. But now Elon Musk is hinting that this casting could be even larger at the Berlin factory. He gives the eyes emoji when asked about the full body casting. Maybe that means like wait and see type thing. Tesla patented a giant casting machine to make the entire body of the car, or at least a big chunk of it, in one shot. And so although this machine may be the size of a house, it's worth it for Tesla as compared to having lines of expensive robots that need to take the time to weld a whole bunch of different parts together, not to mention that they need to actually manufacture all of these various parts to stick together. So it appears that Tesla may be taking the body casting to the next level by doing something completely unheard of in the industry and pushing the boundaries of what's possible in vehicle design and manufacturing. Furthermore, Elon is thinking of having the Giga Berlin engineering team create a new vehicle for the European market. Similar to how the Shanghai team will be working on creating a cheaper Tesla for the mass market in China, I think these smaller, more affordable cars will ultimately help Tesla scale to hit the mass market in terms of EV adoption. So I think Giga Berlin will have huge long-term potential for scaling Tesla globally. Additionally, I'm happy to see this tweet here which hints that Tesla will finally ditch the modules within their battery packs and go straight from cell to pack which will reduce costs, weight, and the price of batteries. This is something that Elon Musk has actually been talking about for quite some time. And I don't think that's going to be specific to any one factory, at least long term. So this was something that Tesla originally intended to have, which was swappable modules, except that you can't really swap out the current modules in the battery with the current vehicles, even if you wanted to, though they are designed to do that. So it's really a legacy design that has been carried along over from generation to generation of these battery packs. And Elon has made it clear that this will change very soon as they've learned over time that modules are fairly useless. So Tesla is getting rid of modules at a time when other auto companies, such as General Motors, are pretty excited about getting swappable modules in their own battery packs. So it's interesting that Giga Berlin, which will be a 30 million square foot facility, will house state-of-the-art cutting-edge technology. And I think that will draw in engineers from all over Europe to come work for Tesla, which will put even more pressure on competing automakers. Now the China factory took 10 months to build and another two or three months before they started delivering vehicles to customers. So I think Giga Berlin will take slightly longer due to differing regulations between Europe and China. However, I expect it'll be ready in about a year from now. So probably the second half of 2021, which will give Tesla another jump in vehicle sales. But I think the quality of the vehicles will be a step above even Tesla's current Model Y vehicles, which are already in a league of their own. Now Tesla continues to outdo itself on vehicle design, but also with the Gigafactory design itself. Now I'm going to compare this to Ultron, the Marvel character, who is constantly building himself a new body and tearing apart the old one. So I think Tesla is actually a bit smarter than Ultron because they keep the old one around and upgrade it with the new learnings from their new designs. So when all said and done, Ultron has one body left, but Tesla has multiple factories that are each pumping out vehicles. And so if you think that the capacity of each of these factories is about 500,000 vehicles per year, 
then Tesla will soon have 1.5 million vehicle capacity. Although it's going to take a few years for the factories to actually reach that level, they are well positioned for boosting their output down the road. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit the like button, we'd super appreciate that. You can also hit the bell button to subscribe and be notified of upcoming Tesla content. You can also join us further on Patreon at patreon.com slash the market is open, where we give a shout out to our patrons at the end of each video. Thanks so much for watching.